Hi guys, this is Angela Johnson Ayers here again from Confessions of Mommy. And while one of my children is in the tub and the other is doing homework, well she better be doing homework, I just wanted to respond to an email that I received um, on my Confessions of Mommy in my email. And the question was, was from a mom and she wanted to know, is it normal to not want to be around your children sometimes? And then she followed up by saying, because she feels guilty for not wanting to always be around her children. And so I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you something that's going to set you free. Now, before I give you my response, I'm going to let you know that I am not a, I am not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. My degrees are not in psychology. I am an educator, <laughs> but I'm also a mom. And from my own studies of researches that I've done, as far as getting my own therapy and counseling from a trained therapist, I'm going to tell you moms this. It is absolutely, completely normal to be tired of your children. And that doesn't mean you don't love them. That doesn't mean you don't appreciate them. It's just a common fact. It's just a, a fact of life. I mean, let's think about it. You get tired of your job, don't you? You could have the most amazing job in the world and it tires you. You may, you, you, you get tired of doing dishes, don't you? You get tired of driving the same way to work, don't you? You get tired of your spouse sometimes. That doesn't mean you don't love them. That doesn't mean you don't love your job. It does not mean you don't uh, love the chores or responsibilities you have of, a, of just life. But it is completely normal to tire of something and or someone or, or, or your children. It's just normal, it's a reality. And one of the main reasons why you tire from your children, you can tire from anything that pulls on you. You understand what I'm saying? And children, I don't care if you have one child or 10, they pull on you. And anytime someone or something is constantly pulling on you, it is pulling, some, it is draining from you. Now, the key to not being so tired of your children to the point that you just wanna run away and leave them all in the dust, trust me, because I've been there, or leave to the point where you end up having a mental breakdown and you find yourself huddled up on the floor in a fetal position, because I have been there, you need a break. Now, I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm one of those people who, my God, I do not take breaks. And that is why I have found myself on the floor in a fetal position, ready to be checked in somewhere because I gave so much of myself constantly trying to be the perfect mother trying to be the perfect wife house had to always be at 100 percent clean clothes had to always be folded and laundered and ironed and on time and schedule 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 till i was wearing myself out i was exhausted so the one key to i guess preventing from tiring to the point that you just want to flee from your children your responsibilities or and in some cases where it's very extreme flee from life itself you need a break. And I don't know what that break may look like for you. I always tell people this though, particularly when dealing with uh, postpartum depression or just mommy depression, is that seek help. Uh, the first person who I really spoke to about this, besides of course my husband, was my primary care doctor many years ago. And she saw it in me because at the time the children were still young and they were still home with me. And, and she just saw it on me. She saw that I was exhausted. And so then she led me to the right people. But first thing, moms, it is normal to tire. Don't feel guilty for feeling normal. You understand what I'm saying? It's so easy as a mother uh, to sometimes forget that you're still a woman. I mean, it, it has been for me because I am one of those people I throw myself 100% into something, and I did. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I, I, by the end of the day, I was so exhausted by trying to do and give so much to the children till you really don't really enjoy being a mom. I'm gonna be honest with you. You really don't enjoy it because everything can be so mundane, especially when the children are really young. You may be breastfeeding and nursing or the children are not home or they're not potty trained. They're not in school, I mean, not home, but they're not in school yet. And you have children around you all the time demanding everything. It seems like once you finish with breakfast and you finish cleaning up the breakfast dishes, then they want lunch. Then after you finish the lunch dishes, they want snack. And then they want dinner. And then by the time they lay down and take a nap, you're so exhausted. And then they pop up. And you're just, you just have to keep going and going and going. And it just wears you out. But moms, women, please know it is normal. It is normal to tire 
from your children. Now, in that normality, in that normalness, that does not mean that we don't address the fact that if it is extreme or if it's to the point where you are toe tight, you still need to speak to someone and get some help. And don't let anybody make you feel bad for knowing you need help. You hear me? Don't let anyone make you feel that way, okay? So, I just wanted to give a quick response to my email that I received from that um, sweet mom who sent it to me. So, look, talk to you soon. Be blessed. Bye.